All right, so ladies and gentlemen, for number 29, it reads, a airplane, an airplane, is flying at 600 miles per hour, has a bearing of 52 degrees. So we have to remember, Marco, when we're finding a bearing of 52 degrees, we need to first remember, how is our bearing set? Well, remember, I went over this last class, we have due north is going to be zero degrees. Due east is going to be 90 degrees. Due south is 180, and due west is 270 degrees. All right? So if my plane is flying at an a, a bearing of 52 degrees, it's roughly going to be right around there, okay? At a rough estimate. So what we need to do is we want to kind of determine what is the length of how far the plane's going. So it says it's going 600 miles per hour. So if we travel for one hour, how long would this line be? 600 miles, right? But it didn't say they traveled for one mile. They said they traveled for an hour, or I'm sorry, for one hour. They traveled for an hour and a half. So therefore, what is now going to be the distance? Because they didn't go for an hour, they went for an hour and a half. 900. Okay? So you can say that distance is going to be 900. Um, and then what it asks for, how far north and how far east will the plane have traveled from the point of departure? So again, to find out any values, we have to create a right triangle. You have to create a right triangle. So the best right triangle that I'm going to see is if I draw a perpendicular line down to my horizontal axis, I will have a right triangle. Right? And what they're asking us is how far did you travel east, and how far did you travel north? Now, the only thing our problem is we don't have an angle yet. We know this is 90 degrees, but we don't know any other angle. Well, we can also determine if this is 52, then this angle inside here has to be 38 degrees. Right? So now we have an angle, and we have the hypotenuse. They're asking us to find the adjacent side, and they're asking us to find the opposite side. So we're going to have to use our trigonometric function. So I could say the cosine of 38 degrees is equal to your adjacent over hypotenuse. Then you could say the sine of 38 degrees is equal to the opposite over the hypotenuse. Right? Therefore, we can now rewrite this and say x equals 900 times cosine of 38 degrees. And here you could say y equals 900 times sine of 38 degrees. Then we take our nice little lovely calculators and we just go and evaluate for each one of these terms, making sure that we're in degree mode. So I'd say cosine of 38 times 900 and I get approximately 709 And we're talking about miles, right? Miles. Then I do sine of 38 times 900, and I get 554.10 miles. Cool? Questions? Preguntas? Nothing? Good? Make sense?